There are three things that we would like to come from this today. Uh, a robust discussion, a better understanding of the issues, a raised awareness, so that we'll be comfortable giving voice to the children that need our help. And I think we can all agree that children in need of protection don't have a voice in the homes they live in or basically the institutions that they become part of if they're lucky enough to get help. Secondly, Kara wants to affirm the value of the work that we do as educators, human services personnel, law enforcement, people that work with at-risk children. We live in a nation now that has devalued some of those things. Politically, some politicians make hay by blaming teachers for failed schools. Last year when I spoke at the UN, at the Youth Assembly in New York, social workers came up to me and told me why they were quitting. Why, you know, they weren't supported. The resources weren't there. It's very difficult to be a social worker on the East Coast. You know, there's no mental health services in New Jersey schools, none at all. So Kara wants to give voice to us to appreciate the value of the work, not just to the children that we work with, but to the community that we live in. Our schools are better, our streets are safer, and life is just happier when at-risk children have better lives. Thirdly, what Kara wants to accomplish is to carry this discussion beyond the walls of Century College. You know, it is our hope to be a grassroots movement, kind of like Mothers Against Drunk Drivers was. Many of you are too young to remember how drunk driving laws were changed 30 years ago by mothers that were outraged that America allowed drunken driving, you know, $50, $100 fines. I grew up that way. I'm that old. That was an issue of mine. I believe in the work I've done as a guardian at Lightham and interviewing educators, social workers, adoptive parents, foster parents, people within the system and from outside the system, that we're ready to have this conversation. I believe that there's enough people that have been touched by the American institutions that, that want better answers. Now, I don't have those answers, but I think here today we can ask these questions. So Kara wants to bring attention to and affirmation to the work that we do here. Again, social workers, educators, law enforcement, court workers, foster parents, adoptive parents. It's hard work. And right now, I think it actually should be maybe a misdemeanor for political people to make political hay by blaming teachers for failed schools. Or as they do, really, if a baby's found in a dumpster or some terrible thing befalls a child in child protection, how we are blamed because we didn't do our job. It's not the people trying. It's not. I know how hard you work. I was a volunteer guardian of Lightroom, active for 12 years, about 50 children. We all have our stories. And I know how hard you work. 